All right. Uh, Johnny, can you make these lights brighter? Because my eyeballs are only half seared. Can we get the uh, the lights hotter for I wanna, Tommy here? I want a fucking suntan. <laughs> it's it's like a t it is like a tanning booth up here, but it's so the uh, the crowd in the back can see. Oh look, that that felt like it dimmed a little. Uh, so again, welcome to San Antonio, gentlemen. Ha is this your first time here? Huh? Is this your first time in San Antonio? Who are you? Uh, my name's Jared. Oh, hey, Jared. How you doing? Hey, Ron? Ron, is it? What yes. Was, what oh. was the question? Oh, uh, I asked if this was your first time. It's none of your fucking it's... business. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. None of your fucking business, I'm, son. I, I just want everybody to know, I am... Who is he, motherfucker? I am terrified up here, by the way. <laughs> she was, uh, uh, it's the appropriate response. That's Good. the appropriate response. Jared? Yes, sir. Are you insured? Um, Do yes. Do you like hospital food? My, uh... If anyone is out there, my uh, fiance is my emergency contact, so uh, <laughs> it's in my phone. Uh, anyway, so uh, welcome again to uh, Big Texas Comic Con. I think uh, let's just kick this off right away. Uh, we're going to take questions from the fans out here. So if you got a question, come on up to the microphone. If you've got anything to ask about Sons of Anarchy, uh, about uh, anything, other projects that these uh, gentlemen are in, I think Ron's been in some stuff you might like. I don't I don't know. Not, not terribly sure, but... I never have. I never liked okay. anything. Okay. You never liked anything? They were just, we were just playing the uh, basketball scene from uh, Alien Resurrection, which oh. is uh, something, <laughs> something that I forgot I, how much I enjoyed. All right. Let's go ahead and start here. You, sir, first. Yes, sir. Nice to meet you guys. Uh, nice to see you here. Um, basically, I just wanted to ask, is there anything that kind of sticks out in your mind when you're doing Sons uh, that kind of really affected you for a long term, like uh, I know you guys were together a long time, so it's skin kind of, cancer. Well, yeah, probably all that smoking. Probably California of, sunshine, yeah. skin cancers mainly. Yeah, that, that'll last. <laughs> True. Um, I got nothing. <laughs> I got nothing. Yeah. How are you looking at me, boy? I was depending on you, right? Tom, <laughs> Tommy's answers seem to be very light centric. Yeah. So far. Yeah. Or I guess the least no. to me. What happens over the course of seven years is you really learn who you like and you really learn who you don't like. <laughs> and uh, and uh, so that's my takeaway from the whole thing. I, I feel like I've already made the impression that you're going to have of me for the, the rest of the panel. Who are you? My, my name is Jerry. No. Oh, I'm sorry. Pardon me. Uh, was that it? I'm sorry. Was that the end of your question? Yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, oh, okay. I, I could do a little lighthearted one like uh, we have a couple... <laughs> Comic book guys, we got, uh, of course, you know, the original Hellboy, and then we have the. Wait, you're saying a, you're saying original like there's another Hellboy. Well, yeah, very good, very good. Yeah. He's he's let's working, say, he's working. The, then let's say the real Hellboy. Yeah. And then we got the Wu Assassin. Now I was wondering here on the end if you uh, plan on getting into the comic book genre. Isn't he? Uh... Already in a comic well, book? I mean, do your fucking homework. You haven't checked your local listings. No, I, I, yeah. You gotta check your I read those digest. You, have it, you need to switch from FX to uh, I, I, AMC. I understand Walking okay. Dead. Uh, I just mean as a, uh, like a lead man. There's a little, a little startup show called Awful. The Walking Dead. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's just this, no, you know. Maybe that question wasn't so lighthearted after yeah. all. <laughs> all right, next Back up. Back it up, sister. <laughs> next up. Hanging out with me and my shadow. Um, I, you know, I really, really did enjoy the company of these mother, uh, bast uh, fuckers, people, fuckers is the word you're looking for. It's probably kids here, right? Horrible, horrible. I fuckers. think there's a lot of kids here. So I shouldn't, I'm say, sorry. I shouldn't say motherfucker because yeah, mother, exactly. just, just leave off the mother, and I think we're good. Don't say shit in front of the KIDSs. <laughs> oh fuck. Was it, we miss each other a lot. Yeah. I used to I used to really love uh, going to work so much with these dudes that I used to get speeding tickets going to work. Seriously. Yeah, you two, you and Hanum used to like to have a little fucking Daytona. <laughs> yeah. Every morning. Every morning. Every morning. By like the way, by fast. the way, you are a really hot Gemma. Woo! <laughs> yeah. 
I'd still be on the show if, uh, if <laughs> but um, it may not be on the air, but uh, <laughs> yeah. it'd be a show. He's got his own production crew, I think. So. <laughs> you, sir. Yeah, nice to meet you, Mr. Ron. Two questions, one for Ron. How do you like the new Hellboy? How did I like doing Hellboy? I love no, doing Hellboy. How do you, okay, you don't like the new one then. Oh, how do I like the new Hellboy? Yeah, like the new what new Hellboy? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. We've already determined. And my second question, can I buy y'all a shot? Shh, fuck yeah, man. <laughs> All right, okay. I'll be here for at least another half hour, so. Y'all be good. You know, do you, do you, do you, uh, can I get some Uber Eats up here? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. I'll put it on the tab. All right, man. All right. Next up, sir. Hi. Um, what was y'all's favorite season in the show? Favorite scene in the show? Season. 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 Mm -hmm. All right. Spring. <laughs> yes. Ryan, I'm not sensing a lot of collegiality. <laughs> you keep throwing it over to me. I'm like, change the song of his good nature. Batting it like, down. I don't know. I mean, I never watched the show. We did the show, you know. I, I mean, I, I I liked it when I when I when Opie's character died. That was a good season. It was Spo a good season. Spoiler. I don't care what you say. I liked season two. <laughs> Thank you. Because it <laughs> fell it fell right between one and three. Yeah. And it uh, it just it just seemed like nice. It was a good. Uh, like if that was a, a really good time. That was really good. I don't know what happened in season two. But I think it started out with Gemma getting raped, and then we went downhill from there, <laughs> right into the gutter. Well, thank you very much. It was a wholesome family show before that. All right, next up. So I wanted to know if y'all could have been any other character in the show. Who would it have been? Jockey. Yeah, same answer. What's the name of the character Jimmy Smith's played? Yeah, I wouldn't have wanted to be him. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, what's the name of the character Kurt Sutter played? Well, uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna give away a prize at the end of this if you get all these right. <laughs> Big Otto. I didn't want to be him either. Uh, there were more people I didn't want to be than, than the ones that I did. I like being clay, really. I really do. All right, thank you. Next up, sir. This is more of a question for Ron. Um, what did you do to prepare for the character of clay? I learned to fall off a bike. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and then eventually I perfected it. <laughs> do, do you all still ride? Um. <laughs> Some of us here are still ride. Yeah? Do you all, none of you fall off. You know, huh? we, uh, I, did Rye just got a new yeah. toy. Yeah, so do you. Yeah. Yeah. Yours is nice. These two guys Yours ride. Nice, this is nice. <laughs> These two guys ride prolifically. Kim Coach still rides. Charlie probably, probably that's his only mode of transportation. Yep. <laughs> and, um, uh, I think Katie, Katie still rides. Boone? Boone, 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 Boone never, he never not rode. He yep. lives on his bike with yeah. his one box. <laughs> to another story. It's, all right, next up, sir. So my question has to do with the final season. And uh, so did Chibs kill Jerry or did they just <laughs> break up? Did Chibs oh. kill Jerry? What was the second part? Or did they just break up? Nah, I usually kill my exes, because, you know, I have no idea. Was I supposed to kill her? I didn't get up paid those pages. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't get those. I only pages. read my butt. So, if she, uh, no, I have no clue. <laughs> That's going to be the name of your memoirs. <laughs> I didn't get those pages. <laughs> I got those pages. <laughs> How I only read <laughs> my butt. Who, who, who is Jerry? I was dead before. I know, that. I was way Who's dead. How you, way dead. Yeah, you guys are. Who the hell is Jerry? Now, was I mean, I'd really like to help fella. my brother Tommy out with this question, but I don't know who the nice fuck guy. Jerry was. Now, now Tommy, uh, was it just that you didn't read your, you only read your pages, or did you not get all the pages because of any kind of secrecy in that last season? 
No, I'm just a lazy bastard. Okay. Well, that answers that. All right, thank you. Next up. Um, Speak up, um, please. Question for Roy. I wanted to know Roy. when, sorry. Oh. Roy. 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 That's who that chair is for. Is Roy. 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 Roy is on his way. For yeah. Roy and Jerry. If these gentlemen can help you with an answer, then we'll we'll pass it on to Roy. He, I, have a, I have a tons of He's looking for Buttercup right now. As, I'm so sorry. As the character as Hellboy, uh, what was your favorite prop to hold? My favorite prop to hold was a can of beer. Because they let me have real beer. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Pretty sure that wasn't a prop. <laughs> were were you? Uh, you did, did you get along with the cats? Me and the cats. Uh, I still get letters from the cats. Okay, that's good to know. You kept in. Do they ride still? Those cats. Um, those cats. Uh, you've never worked with animal trainers until you've worked with animal trainers in Budapest. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> those cats. Uh, been there. They 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 have no shots. Uh, they, 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 they have no litter boxes. They just fucking go wherever they They've want. They've seen some shit over there in Budapest. Yeah. It, it was, uh, it was kind of the, the, the most humane treatment they ever had with the scenes they shot with me. Oh That'll just show you. Don't go to Budapest with your cat. <laughs> take, if you take nothing else away from this panel, it's that, don't go that to piece Budapest of advice. Do not with your cat. Transport your kitty <laughs> to Budapest. This has been a public service announcement. <laughs> attention, attention. Ron Perlman approves this message. All right, you, sir. Uh, questions for Ron. Uh, everybody in Sons kind of plays a bad guy at some point. When do you think Clay was, like, at his worst? Like, the worst bad guy ever? Um, you talk about acting? Yeah, like the, no, like the character himself. Like, when did you like do a scene? And you're like, man, that was kind of fucked. Because if you're talking about acting, it would be season three, which the worst came acting? right be yeah, between yeah. seasons two and four. <laughs> no, uh, the actual um, character. Oh my, the worst. You know that whole bullshit where I was like, you know, robbing people's houses with Chuck Zito. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I said he did those pages either. Yeah. Good idea about that. Never I, seen the show. I remember seeing you at the table when they were excommunicating me for, for um, they were. Oh, there was a brief moment. They, yeah. were, they were excoriating. I was wondering why I was in that room. They were excoriating me. And for those of you who don't know what excoriating means, I don't either. <laughs> Hi, this is a question for anybody uh, on the panel and in your opinion. Ex probably not me, though. Me? <laughs> okay. But I'm um, fascinated with the show, a little bit scary. But my question is, they show um, the scene where the tunnel between California and Mexico, are those um, location or are they sets? And I'm like, if it's location, you know, because it defeats the purpose for a wall if they're all coming underground. That's very political. Oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 it's fine. I'm, just I'm asking, because you know, they look real. I don't know what's on. And lights about. and trails. Wait, 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 are you talking about the Mayans? Is that your show? Yeah, like when they go on the look. They're on California, they go into the yeah, house. Yeah, that's not our show. That's the Mayan show. We are sons of anarchy. Say again? I don't know. I, mean, I thought that was sons part of I don't know. We were Northern California. Roy? <laughs> yeah, Roy, You want to take this one, Roy? Roy! More of a question Can you answer Roy? this? <laughs> Roy was another show. You'll get us. Give him five, give I, him I'm five gonna, minutes. I'm going to guess whatever your answer is. They probably didn't film in a real drug tunnel, but... I pr I'm guessing. I don't. Although they're I not hard to find in no, there. I, 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 I've been in a few. <laughs> All right. Thank you. So that's where I hang out of an evening. <laughs> All right. You, sir. Quick question for the Glaswegie. Celtic or Rangers? Celtic, my boy. All right. If this is Glasgow, I'd have a fucking ovation <laughs> right now. There'd be flowers being thrown upon the fucking stage. Also, are you a Never England? What? A Never England when it comes to... You mean, yeah, fuck off, England, give us a break, man. Are we, this Greg's is like I the second, suck my nuts. This is the second political question in a row. Are you going to ask about Brexit? No. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, fuck you, Boris. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you Why sir. do they always have bad hair? Those. Yeah, what is the deal with You know that? what, it's a whole gimmick with that fucking buffoon. With the, oh, it's really school boy. It's a lot of shade. Just like other 
Then the other fucking clown with a hairdo's. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Hello, Hi. sir. Hi. How y'all doing? I love Sons of Anarchy. I mean, I tell you from the first episode, I was hooked. I had to see it. Was there ever a moment outside of filming, like not on the set, that you were like, man, this show's pretty big. There's a big cult following. I mean, was there like someone that was asking you questions? I mean, because it seems like a lot of people were real diehard fans, but was there a moment ever outside of filming that you thought, man, this is a pretty big show. This is something really cult following. Uh, when we started, uh, when, during the off season, after season one, um, it was hard for me to pay for a drink. <laughs> And, uh, I'd love to buy you a shot, that, too, that, if I see you back there, for sure. That had never <laughs> happened before. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it was, uh, w it, was pretty, it, was, it was pretty obvious that uh, wherever we went... That's why I was a raging alcoholic <laughs> for all those years. Um, he was giving me drugs and alcohol all the fucking time. Yeah, of course, yeah. I never... Obviously. No, we, 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 we got a really good sense that, uh, that the show struck a nerve pretty much everywhere we went, you know, I started, uh, that never happened to me before in my career. So yeah, it was, it was, it was startling to when it, when it happens to you and you realize, holy shit, you know, you're make, you're being received and, and, and people really want to tell you how much you're affecting them. Uh, that was nice. Beetlejuice! 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 <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for all the work y'all do. It's great. <laughs> Get him! <laughs> <laughs> times they appear, isn't it? So three I, times. Uh, Fuck you, Beetlejuice. Yeah. Uh, you ran away. Look. There was there going, someone Beetlejuice? dressed as Beetlejuice back there. Beetlejuice. You can all turn around and look if you like. It's. This is why I try to never answer questions seriously. <laughs> hey, I want to ask a uh, real quick regarding the the popularity of the show. Uh, were were you? Uh, was it the motorcycle club culture new to you when this became popular? Or was it something that you had uh, kind of had an experience with in your life before? The I motorcycle mean, club culture, was it something new when the show became a success? It wasn't new for long. For a few people, but that was interesting. I think for some of us it was newer than for others. You know, I, I, I hadn't had a whole lot of uh, exposure or given a lot of contemplation to what that world might have been like to kind of travel in. You, you know, one had to immerse oneself into, you know, the, uh, the way they move through the universe in order to do the show properly. And so we steeped ourselves in as much in information about it as possible. Um, you know, uh, there I go being serious again. I'm really sorry. Beetlejuice. I promise I, I, will, I will follow with an equally serious response. Like uh, David LaBrava, for instance, was a motorcycle enthusiast. And uh, I always thought it was great having D on the set. Because it kind of, oh, okay, serious talks. No, seriously. So he, brought, he brought that, you know, he came in every, after every weekend with these stories. You know, that was always... Interesting conversation. Ryan, nothing. Vroom, vroom, like motorcycle. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> you yep. worked all night, didn't you? I hey. sure did. You're right. <laughs> Print not. Print not. Ryan is doing a Walking Dead now. He's <laughs> actually doing. Am I allowed to announce that? An impersonation as well as filming, yes. Night shoots, big yeah. fellow. But he was <laughs> shot all night last night, so uh, let's try to keep it down, okay? <laughs> Okay. He's trying to. He's trying Everyone to nap. Be quiet. He's trying to take a little nap right now. <laughs> All right, back to the audience. You, man. If anybody has a bedtime story. Yes. Yeah. Yes. A lullaby, maybe. Beetlejuice. <laughs> Beetlejuice. I don't know if your light's coming on, but. Yeah, it's you blinding. Can Welcome to San Antonio. This question is directly to Ron. I was wondering if you would consider being part of a remake of Beauty and the Beast. Didn't they already remake that? No, with him in it. Oh, oh, the TV show. I <laughs> yeah. see. Um, I, w I, w I would, I would, I always wanted to, to to do that as a feature film, you know, as like one one big movie rather than a because we studied it as a TV series, you know, where it was like 
almost like a serial, you know, just sort of one story after another. But I, 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 there was a, so much magic in the world um, that Ron Coslow created that we never got a chance to tap into as you could tap into that kind of magic in a movie, you know, with, with all the visual effects and with, with a big budget and everything like that. And so for a few years, I was actually um, going around, you know, uh, trying to help get something going in that, in that area. But um, um, yeah, I would do it again if, 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 if it was a, uh, worth looking back into and not a repeat of, the, of what we had already done. I actually enjoyed that show, though. Thank you. Thank you. Next up. All right. This is for all three. Um, what's your favorite genre of music? Oh, <laughs> you were a DJ. I was the DJ. Um, I don't know. I have anything. It's a fucking good jam. I want to hear it. I have a very varied ear. <laughs> what about you? Sinatra. Yeah. Yeah. That's very cool. I mean, that's not a genre, but that's an artist who covered... Uh, who had a certain style, and so I guess that is a genre, right? I mean, there's even songs from the 80s that when I remember growing up as a kid, uh, kind of, uh, how bad <laughs> those fucking songs were, and yet now I'm like, wow, that's not bad little jam, that shit. Because when you're that age, you can't be, if it wasn't a cool song, then you couldn't fucking like it, because it wasn't cool. But now it's, yeah, it's okay, you can like it. What about you? What's your favorite kind of music? Uh, rock and roll. Yeah, yeah, rock and roll. I'm like a big AC, ACDC fan, Metallica, stuff like that. There you yeah. go. There you go. I hate him. <laughs> I don't like metal. I don't understand metal fucking music. What is all that? I don't get that. <laughs> all right, brother. I well, you're looking at me. I, I don't know. I, I can't. Oh, I, can't I hate banging shenanigans. I, I said Sinatra. That? Come Sinatra, on. Sinatra is kind of the direct opposite of metal. So, I, did you do it? Do you like a bit of heavy metal shit? Uh, no, you don't. I was never into it. No, of course you will. What a ridiculous question. <laughs> you, sir. What's going on, fellas, man? I ain't got no questions, man. I just want to say, man, I grew up watching y'all, man. Y'all some badass fucking actors. Opie, you fucking went out like a fucking G. Thanks, brother. Sons of Anarchy. Braveheart, man. I'll never forget that shit. Hellboy. Man, that's fucking some good shit. It's good actors, man. Good shit, bro. Thank Sir, you, we're brother. not cursing Thank here. You that, that, oh, was, <laughs> that was the best question of the day, bro. Um, <laughs> yeah, I just want to just tip my hat to y'all, man. Just say, hey, what's up? I got you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, brother. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Look, here we go. We got shots. No, I don't drink either. Roy, you, you want to? Oh, I, thank you. Oh, I get a shot. See, that's why we don't drink. What is this? <laughs> no. Yeah, I don't drink. All right. The green, green grass of home. Slanja, thank you, guys. That's a first. Oh, hey, look who it is, guys. Hello. Juice. Hi. Hi. <laughs> What's your question? Beetlejuice. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just say I really like the work you do. You guys are amazing people. And the question for you is, what's your favorite movie? Beetlejuice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's your favorite movie? My favorite movie. Uh. All time favorite movie. Can't see number one. Can't see number one. Number, Can't. Th number three. Number three. Fuck. Once Upon a Time America just jumped in my head for some reason. Okay. That's a good movie. Rage Bull Bottom. Another great yep. movie. Uh, I, uh, I, don't want to do, I don't want to play this game. Cause it's, I Mine's don't Cool Hand Luke. Go on, Luke. I'll buy that with the eggs. Ronnie. Favorite movie. Godfather. Fuck six. Well, Godfather. Godfather. Uh, well. The God Godfather Part One yeah. for me is my favorite movie, yeah. but then I have like 25 movies that are tied for second. Yeah, I'm, I, we have I, time. We would like to hear all <laughs> yeah. 25. Okay, so in, in, in alphabetical <laughs> order, Dean Hunter or by Dean height. Hunter was a good movie. <laughs> 
What's your favorite movie, Beetlejuice? Beetle, do I say it three times? Oh, she's here. Fuck it. She's been times we like now. Yeah, 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 yeah. How does Beetlejuice go away? And if you say it three times for you to get here, how many times you need to say for you to fuck it off? Not you personally, <laughs> obviously. So that would be you rude. Secret. Can you pay me like, I don't know, how much is your minimum wage? <laughs> Gosh. Uh, so, I think like seven bucks. <laughs> you need minimum wage to go away? Yeah. So, what's all this the magic needs, and shit? Just fucking I think nine dollars. Juice is asking for a minimum it's, wage it's, it's, job it, to fuck <laughs> off. Oh, you want to pay what? Fuck, yeah, I'll sort this out right now. Ask and you shall receive, Beetlejuice. Did you get a minimum? There you go. <laughs> oh. You got a raise. Thanks. Uh, anything else? You're still here! Yeah, you, you got your money. Get out of here. <laughs> Does anybody they, Please well line done, up if you've got questions. Very good. <laughs> She's still here. This is the first time I've ever been on a panel where no one wanted to ask a question. Yeah, come on. Uh, ask a question. Come on. Yeah, you, you, you're there. Yeah, yeah. I can't see anybody for these fucking lights. Yeah, you're there. No, no, you're there. Yeah, come on. Get up. I don't know what you're pointing at. Oh, we got someone, someone dead from the back here. No, uh, let, let, let her go first. Let's just show Boone's video selling a kayak. She was marching forward purposefully. Can we get that on the screen? Ma'am. That would be good. I don't know Sons of Anarchy. They're what the fuck the you doing here? here? Fuck off. Get <laughs> the hell the bricks. Hold on. I do like you from Gladiator. Beautiful men. Fair enough. And Hellboy. Awesome. You won me over. I'm so sorry. Get out of here, lady. <laughs> Get out of here, lady. All right. You, didn't, you forgot to insult Beetlejuice, Rob. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Yeah, can we get Beetlejuice back? <laughs> Sir. This is a question for Tommy. What's next for you? Where, where can we see you next? Oh, your local pole dancing <laughs> establishment. You can uh, see him back. The Scotsman swing it. Swinging it. Swinging it from coast to coast. You can really find out what's on underneath that kilt. The kilt, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to know that. Uh, I, I am busy uh, formulating a plan. Uh, it's just every other movie you see, you have such an extensive career, and you know, you flip your channels, and there you are. You know, it's just surprising. So I look forward to seeing you next. Week. Thank, Thank you, brother. Watch the Blue Assassins on Netflix right now. Uh, that's a pretty cool little show. All right. All right, Westworld coming Next. Out, yeah. Another shot. Yeah. Hi. Uh, this question for Ron. So since Hellboy reboot never happened, way, uh, when's Hellboy 3 coming out? Really and when's Guillermo going to get back? There was never, when's he getting married? No, Guillermo. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, top that You want to see Hellboy oh, get Jesus. married? Yeah. I mean, when the babies. What was the question about Guillermo? Uh, when are you going to get back with Guillermo to make Hellboy 3? Uh, Guillermo, uh, uh, I don't think Hellboy 3 is going to happen. I... I I, 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 I don't know. I don't want to ruin your day or anything like that. Or make your day, you know, depending on. I but, know um, what that too. No, look, we tried. We really tried. Hellboy 3 needed a whole lot of people to get together and say, let's go do this. And it was like uh, herding cats, you know. We just, we never got it together. And so they did this other thing. And uh, we all sat that one out. <laughs> and uh, I think maybe that movie might have pissed Guillermo off enough to finally make Hellboy 3. <laughs> well, he does, he does have the Oscar now, a pair of Oscars at least to, uh, to, uh, to write the ship that way. So yeah, That's what I'm hoping. Yeah. Are you working with Guillermo anytime soon? I'm actually about to work with Guillermo twice. Uh, he's doing a stopgap stop animation version of Pinocchio. Oh, wow. Which I am in, and then he's doing. Uh, Who do you play in that? Pinocchio. Who the I, fuck do you think? I, <laughs> huh? Pinocchio, of course. Who else do you play? I'm playing Pinocchio. <laughs> I would, I would watch I'm, that all fucking day. all day long. All day long. I'm working. I'm working on my voice right now. <laughs> Oh, hello. Got no strings. Oh. I, 
I got to see Pinocchio strings. with a fucking cigar. I got a cigar. No a cigar. A cigar. I got and no he's low sh- I got a low sh- Oh, definitely <laughs> pee. See that right. shit. In this version of Pinocchio, no, no his, his nose doesn't me, grow. <laughs> <laughs> Every time he lies, never mind. <laughs> and then, uh, and then he's doing uh, his next feature film is Nightmare Alley. Um, Sounds fantastic. Of which I'm in. Nice. You, sir. All right. Hey, first off, just thank you for all the years y'all poured into Sons of Anarchy and just made it what it is and how amazing it was. Pulled um, is right. Pulled. Yeah. Um, two Sweat and tears. <laughs> two questions. One: What was it like working with Kurt Sutter? And two, um, just what was was there any like really emotional just time on the set that you just look back on, whether it was one of the deaths or just Every someone leading? Day. Finally, a question for Ryan. Finally, finally. <laughs> working with Chris Sutter was like working with a honey badger, <laughs> honey badger, like a dark wizard a honey badger. And what was the second question? Just like what what was like an emotional time y'all had on the set, whether it was one of the deaths or someone leaving the show or something like that that you just kind of reflect back to. I mean, I'll answer that one because Ryan uh, is too close to the moment, but there was no moment in the history of the show that was more emotional than uh, the death of Opie. And it was not just emotional for the story and the show and the the audience, but it was very emotional for the family that was losing him, you know, which is the Sons of Anarchy family. You know, it was really, uh, it was a very sad, uh, kind of a thing, and um, you know, it might have actually changed the whole course of uh, our enthusiasm. I mean, I don't know if I can go that far as to say that, but I just did, I guess, you know. But it really was like, like, wait, you fucking killing Opie? Yeah, I would probably. Yep. Um, so yeah, the, the bargain, the bargain changed at that point. Well, thank you, gentlemen. Appreciate did- it. Did, uh, it's a kind of a genius move, actually. I know it was sad as fuck to you go and shit, but it kind of, it just kind of turned the show. We didn't expect it. And then we heard, it's like, what the fuck? Why are you killing the golden goose? And then, did what you, a way to go. Did y'all have any sort of, uh, like, onset, I don't want to say ceremony, but kind of a little yeah, event when, when a character like that would would be killed off on the show well, the only the only the only thing that got ceremonious was was Opie's death yeah, there was uh it was very ceremonious it was very kind of almost like going to um a funeral where the entire immediate family oh wait 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 i'm sorry to interrupt you ronnie but i know i've told this story you know i just had a jameson okay so <laughs> oh fine shit oh here we go you don't mind if i get a little poetic every once no no i'm sorry <laughs> get your james joyce out baby come on i just want to talk about all the friends i lost in ireland <laughs> oh no please i'd like to have a moment where we all sing oh danny boy <laughs> Sorry, did I interrupt the song? Go ahead. No, no, it's fine. I want to hear this. You have incredible patience, by the way. Yes. Are you a doctor? No, I teach preschool. Ah, uh, you're a you know, you're That's a masochist. The same thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, with all with all those patients, I must, I thought you must have been a doctor. See, it's a joke. I'm no. with it. Yeah. Cool. Laugh! Wait. Come on, guys. <laughs> When you first read the pages for Sons of Anarchy and you said yes, did you guys have any idea that the show would be as prolific as it became? I don't have any dialogue, so I've got fuck all to say. <laughs> I took the show because I thought it was be- destined to fail. <laughs> and I was looking for a quick paycheck and get the fuck out of there. You could always be a stripper like this one. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Who said he's not? <laughs> Coming soon. To shopping malls throughout Texas. <laughs> Ronnie Pearl on the pole. Hallelujah. Boom. Thank you. <laughs> All right, last question. We have one time for one last question. You, sir. All right. So my question's for Ryan. Uh, so when you first read about the initial death of Opie, what were your first thoughts? And then what was more emotional? No, oh, no. Not Opie. <laughs> what was... Uh, was it more emotional to do the scene or to watch it? 
Oh, uh, that's a good question. Um, I mean, it was super emotional to do it. I mean, obviously, it, it was one of those things. It was a beautiful experience. Is you know that last shot of of Obi Rip before he got his head caved in. You know, the entire cast sort of lined up behind the camera, and I, there was no real acting required. It was just me sort of looking at my my best friend. And yeah. your hair was so fucking epic. Yeah. It was nice. Yeah. Just hanging in the sound. Come on. Go <laughs> off for the hair. The, the hair does the all that. The hair. Uh, my, my hair thanks you. Yeah. Um, we named our cat after you, and he went out like a boss, too. Uh, how do you want me to respond to that? <laughs> There's a lot of brutality. Of sorry, cats. sorry for your loss. Of <laughs> <Love> your loss. <laughs> All right, that's gonna wrap it up. But thank you for your service. Riva Desi, Sayonara, Chow, and Asta Loegi. Listen, if you want to, if you want to uh, see my next project, I'll be at the table about. Uh, Come. 75 feet from there. Go yes. back. Uh, they're all going to be at their tables, uh, signing autographs, taking photos, and we.